Well, good morning, everybody. Just finishing up my breakfast here and getting ready to head home. I actually have a uh, COVID test this morning at CVS scheduled. Ricky and I both have a COVID test scheduled because we will be uh, going on a cruise and they require a negative COVID test within two days of the cruise. Got a lot of traffic here this morning. Hey, I want to welcome you if this is your first time to my motor vlog. Welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you're passionate about motorcycles or you just like to hear somebody uh, ramble on about nothingness, you're in the right place. Would appreciate it if you'd uh, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. Become part of the Cruise Man fam. Now we got a cop coming up here with his lights on. Stopping somebody. Haven't seen that in a while. Couldn't be speeding because they don't ever stop anybody in Dallas for speeding. Not sure what it is. So anyway, uh, welcome to the Moto Vlog. Uh, and believe it or not, my temperature gauge doesn't show it right now because I guess it warmed up a little bit. I don't think I'm ever going to get out of here at 7.55 in the morning. I think I'm going to have to go right. Because there's just too much traffic at this time of day. But it was 30 nine degrees this morning when I left the house something I almost never do is take a ride when it's under 40 degrees but as a professional I felt that it was my responsibility to do a motor vlog for your benefit today so I went ahead and decided to suck it up and go ahead and get out in 39 degree temperature to do this motor vlog. Now, <clears throat> it is dry and it's not windy today. So that makes a big difference. If the wind had been blowing 15 miles an hour, I don't know if I would have done this. <laughs> so, because uh, that does really make it cold. So I'm going to have to go up here, make a left turn, do a U-turn, come back and get back down and go on the way I go home. But I did want to talk to you about a couple things before we leave town. Uh, I will be, uh, we will be on a, uh, another cruise and I'll be reporting on assignment for, uh, on a celebrity cruise this time. And I will be there for a few days. I will be actually spending my birthday on that ship so we'll be celebrating my uh, 35th birthday that's right you heard it here first I'm admitting my my age 35 years old so anyway it's been a hard 35 okay but we will uh, I will try to do a little message on my birthday for you guys just for the heck of it and if you are interested in uh, cruising check out our other channel cruisereport.com and uh, cruise reports actually the channel the YouTube channel I'll be posting there as well as Facebook and Instagram so I'm gonna do my little u-turn here I may actually have to turn into this church parking lot it's kind of a pain in the butt but when the traffic's bad that's what you got to do I've never done this before. I'm hoping I can get out up here somewhere. This is actually a church parking lot. <clears throat> it's one of the biggest churches in our area. Uh, it's Prestonwood Baptist. It's huge. And they have a school here, I think. And I think that's why so much traffic. People are dropping their kids off at school, I think. 
but I think I can get out right here and get back on the street no idea what's going on here okay now we're back where we need to be I think So I want to let you know what's coming up on Cruise Man's Garage. I will be uh, hopefully getting a video out later today. Uh, or soon after you see this video. On how to register a TPMS sensor with your motorcycle. Some of you might be like me. I've got a second rear wheel in my garage. Just in case I ever get a flat tire, or even if it comes time to uh, replace the rear tire, I'd love to have a front wheel too with a tire mounted to it, but I don't. I just have a rear wheel. The problem is that TPMS sensor that's on that wheel is not programmed to this motorcycle. It's not registered. And TPMS sensors have to be registered with your motorcycle. Just like your smart key has to be registered with your motorcycle. And I'm going to have a video out soon, uh, within a day or two, uh, on how you do this. What is the procedure for registering your TPMS sensor to your motorcycle? It's a little complex, but not it's something anybody can do. It's not that hard. It's just certain steps you have to go through. So keep an eye out for that video. Also, I should be receiving a new, uh, it's a, a competitor, I guess you would say, for the GoPro camera. It's another action camera. And I'm going to be testing that. For those of you that are motovloggers or for those of you that have a GoPro for whatever reason, maybe not motovlogging, maybe you just have one for whatever you do, skydiving or scuba diving, whatever. I have another camera coming in um, from another company that, and I will be comparing it to my GoPro Hero 10 and my Hero 8. I get a lot of questions about motovlogging. What's my motovlogging setup? And I'm gonna do a video, a whole video, on how I have my helmet set up, this mount, the audio, how I do all that kind of a behind the scenes of motovlogging and how I motovlog. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in that. I also have a behind the scenes coming on editing. So you can keep an eye out for all that stuff. Now I told you in my video where I did the, the jump starter video that this company reached out to me to actually they reached out to me to do a video on a portable tire inflator which is really what I'm interested in. The only reason I did the video of the jump starter is because they went ahead and sent me their jump starter. I had no idea they were going to send me a jump starter. And the guy said that there, the, the uh, tire inflator had been delayed, so could I go ahead and do a video on their jump starter? So I went ahead and did it. And a couple of you made a comment that, hey, I just, you know, a year ago did a video on the Skosh jump starter. How come I'm now recommending this T8 Apex? Well, I'm not really recommending it. I just did a video on it. There's a lot of these jump starters out there on the market. New stuff comes along all the time, and I'm always willing to look at it and talk about it. And I still use the Skosh jump starter on my Goldwing because I like that it has that little pigtail that goes to the battery for the uh, battery tender. And it's kind of a quick connect for the jump starter. I still like that system for the Goldwing. But not everybody that watches my channel has a Goldwing. And some of you, it's easier to get to the battery terminals than it is on a Goldwing, depending on what bike you ride, or maybe you have multiple bikes, or maybe you use it in your car, or some other vehicle. So that's why I did the video on the T8 Apex. And I'm still looking forward to actually trying it in real life, but I'm going to keep it in our car. 
and I'm going to keep the skosh on the on the Goldwing. Now, for those of you that said the little uh, clamps would be hard to use on a Goldwing, Traction Dynamics, some of you know Max McAllister, they actually make a little uh, terminal extension for the Goldwing battery so that you can easily connect one of these jump starters or any jump starter clamp to it. So if you have a jump starter other than Skosh, you just want to use the clamps, check out those terminal extenders from Traction Dynamics. It's a, it's a great idea and very easy to install and very easy to use. I should have mentioned that in the video, I just forgot, honestly. So we have the new GoPro competitor video coming up when I get back in town. Uh, the tire inflator, I don't know what's going on. Now the guy tells me that it's been delayed until April, or my contact tells me that they've delayed the release till April. Not sure why. Um, but I also have some new winter riding gear coming in this week that I'll be reviewing when I get back in town. You're definitely going to want to see that because it's if it's as good as I expect it to be, I think it's going to be a really, really uh, something you guys are really going to be interested in, especially this time of year. Now my temperature gauge now says 43 degrees. But I'll bet it gets down to 42 or 41 before I get home. What do you want to bet? I want to thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Please click that like button. It really does help the channel. And by the way, I'm pretty comfortable today. I've got my Bon Armor Thermal shirt on. I've got my Olympia jacket. I've got my little neck gaiter which is my cruise man's garage neck gaiter. I've got my Olympia riding gloves, my winter riding gloves. I got my heated grips, my heated seat. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I even wore some long underwear under these jeans. So I'm comfortable. But thanks for joining me today on cruise man's motor blog. Click the like button and I'll see you next time on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.